see what I mean about how we have the five highest theological evaluation amongst the religions of the world of this state of embodied being. And at the same time, I'm quick to add, we have one of the lowest levels of actually attributing to our bodies any significant role in our spiritual practice. What do I mean by that? Well, how many of you fast? It used to be a pretty standard practice for Catholics, but it's kind of fallen off the table for us, hasn't it? Can we revision it simply as an embodied prayer? A way of praying in the whole of my body all day long while I abstain for a designated period of time for, from food and drink is a way of saying, God, you're number one. Let me just set aside what symbolizes food and life, health, growth, development. Set it aside for a designated period of time as a way of saying to myself, hey, your real source of life and health and fulfillment and happiness is God. So just set these other things aside on a regular basis as a way of reminding myself what's first. You want to eat first things first, we need second things thrown in. But when we allow second things to become first, we risk losing both first and second things. So there's a form of embodied prayer that would be helpful for us to 